Welcome to another edition of Smalltalk for you. This morning I wanted to take a look at the debugger in Smalltalk, specifically here the one in Faro. And to do that I wanted to have a small application. I have a counter application and when I inspect this you're going to see the add one doesn't do what I expect. So let's just go ahead and do that and you notice that this came up to negative one. Not really what I'd expect. So what I'm going to do is take advantage of the feature here to debug the highlighted expression. That'll jump me into the debugger. Now let me just explain what you're looking at here. Up top you've got the context. So here's the current in execution process. Down here is the next message send that's going to happen. And then I have a bunch of buttons that allow me to do various things. And these are pretty obvious. Proceed just means just keep going. I don't want to debug this anymore. Restart means I've proceeded too far in this context. I'd like to restart as if it never happened. Into means I want to dive into this message send. So I want to execute add one, but I want to go into it and see what happens. Over means execute add one, but stay within this method. So I'll just execute add one and go to the next statement. In this case, there is none, so it'll go to the next thing. Through means step into a block. So if you have a block, which we don't have here, it's like stepping into a block. Full stack, well, that means if I'm not looking at the full stack up here, which I'm usually not, show me everything. Run to here means I could put the cursor down somewhere and just have the thing execute to that point, which is useful if I have long methods where I want to get into a specific spot. And where? Well, if I've been moving the cursor around, I may not know where I am. I can always just do this and hit where, and it'll show me where the next execution is going to take place. So let's go ahead and step into this. And here we can see what my bug is. I've got minus one here. So the cool thing about Smalltalk debugging is I can fix this. I get rid of that, put in a plus sign, hit Control S to compile it. Notice the stack rejiggered. It showed me where I am now. And if I proceed, and I go ahead and highlight this counter and do an inspect, you'll see that it's now doing back from negative one to zero, just like I would expect it to. Now that's a large part of what the debugger does. Let's take a look at something that's a little more cool. We'll go ahead and we'll do subtract one, which doesn't exist yet. Notice it tells me it doesn't understand it. I can proceed, I can abandon, I can debug it, and I can create it. Create means where do I want to put this method? So let's put it in counter, and it's going to tell me where I want to, ask me where I want to put it. I've got a category called API, I'll go ahead. And it's going to give me this self should be implemented, which means it's telling me if you don't implement this, I know it should be implemented, so I'm going to raise an exception if you don't do something. And what I'm going to do is take the cursor down here, I'm going to get rid of everything, and I'm just going to say self count, self count minus one, recompile that, and now I can proceed, and everything works the way I expect it to. So that's one of the cool things about Smalltalk debuggers. Not only can you fix things in process, you can interactively write code and debug and interactively write code and debug and go back and forth. The debugger is your friend in Smalltalk. It's not a tool to be avoided. It is a debugging browser. It's a forensic pathologist tool and a surgeon's tool. The surgeon meaning you can go in and fix the patient and send him along his way, not just figure out what killed him. So that's about it for today. Until next time. Have fun with whatever small talk you're using.